Hi everyone and welcome back to Michelle Reads and Vlogs with me Michelle. Today we are doing the Locked Library unboxing for September. So this is our first September book box unopening. I'm pretty sure it is the earliest that the Locked Library has come so far. Obviously we've only been going for about what six, seven months but usually it's closer to the end of the month so I think when everyone got their emails it was a little bit like oh okay you know it shipped I don't know if it's because maybe next month they want to make sure that the October box for being like Halloween spooky season comes that little bit earlier as well obviously you'll want your October book before Halloween if you're going to read it in the month of October and put it on your TBR and whatnot. Anyway, HarperCollins, everyone keeps saying, why are we double boxing these? It makes absolutely no sense when all there is in the box is another box. And obviously like the packing note, that, that could have gone in here. Like seriously, do we need this in the year 2023? I don't think so, but here we go so we've got in we've got our locked library box let's open her up so the theme for september is back to school so that might be another reason why they have sent it a little bit earlier because obviously most people are back to college right now in the uk they go back to university this month so let's open her up as usual we've got again a little bit more packaging really really was this necessary there is nothing else in here anyway the book is always so beautifully wrapped like this is nice i do like when books are wrapped like this is the only additional packaging that i am happy with here so let's open her up it is nice it's like receiving presents Oh my gosh, this is not the book I was expecting. What has happened? Oh my gosh, it is stunning. Um, anyway, so this was not the book I was expecting. I was expecting The Lost Library. I think that's what it's called by Rachel Moore. And we've got Every Exquisite Thing by Laura Stephen. And this is stunning. I love the purple of the floral design behind the, the title. I love the gold of the title and the edge here. That's beautiful. Let's have a little bit more of a look at this. We've got our spine here. So again, the gold and the purple floral. Let's have a look at the edge. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Can you see how it goes from like darker here to lighter here with the floral and with the kind of vine bits here? That is stunning. And then it goes into the light pink here, which matches the top. Oh, and we've got the same light pink at the bottom ribbon bookmark with the lock library which i do love a ribbon bookmark and on the back we've got girls don't want beauty girls want power and again that gold edge and the purple flowers this is stunning let's have a little bit of a closer look inside our end pages again same kind of floral design but we've got this kind of lighter pink colour, which almost doesn't match the cover. It's like a complete contrast, which I'm not mad about. And then the same on the back. Let's have a look under the dust jacket. Oh. Wow. Wow, this is absolutely stunning so it's like a picture frame and then within the frame you've got I'm pretty sure this is almost the same floral design as 
the end pages to the same types of flowers. That is just beautiful. Like I want to use the word exquisite, but obviously that's in the title. And then we've got obviously what the Lock Library are doing with all of their books. So the name, the author, and then the key symbol so that they all match, which is marketing genius. But this is just gorgeous. Let's have a look inside a little bit closer. Usually we have, there we go, a letter from the author. And again, we've got this floral at the top. Dear Locked Library Reader. And that goes on for two pages. And then we've got a digital signature on the bottom of the author letter. I don't think this one is pen signed. But that's not something that particularly bothers me too much. And then I love this. For the girls who were born hungry. That's really cool. Okay, so we know she's stunning. Let's have a look at what she's about. I'm just going to pop the dust jacket back on for now because the blurb is inside there. Penny Paxton, the daughter of a beloved icon, will do anything to continue her mother's legacy, including enrolling at the elite and cutthroat Dorian Drama Academy. OK, so definitely the back to school theme, even though it wasn't the book I thought we were getting, which was also kind of school academic based. When Penny's new mentor offers her the chance to have a portrait painted by a mysterious artist, who promises immortal beauty to all his subjects. Penny jumps at the chance to join Dorian's most glittering alumni, knowing that stardom will soon be hers. But then her mentor is found murdered, her portrait violently slashed, and as the bodies pile up, Penny realises she's made a terrible mistake. A seductive and searing exploration of beauty, identity and what the pursuit of perfection can truly cost. That sounds brilliant. Like, it's so random opening a book and it not being what I was expected. Like, this is what book boxes are meant to be like. A complete surprise. If I was an author and this was my printed book, I would be so happy. Like, <laughs> it's literally so beautiful. I'm not sure if the theming works throughout. Like, this is stunning. This is stunning. This is stunning. And this is stunning. But I'm not sure they all flow together. Like, this and this match quite well because they're similar kind of types of art style. But then I feel like this and this are both completely different to one another and the end pages and the undercover art. But you know what? Stop being so picky, Michelle. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I am very happy with this, even though I've never heard of it. And as I said, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. I'll pop the picture of the book I was expecting here so that you can see what I thought it was. But anyway, what do you think of this? Is it something you think that you would read? Let me know in the comments. And other than that, I will leave you to get on with the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you want to, hit subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Thanks then. Bye.